Hey, what's up guys? Cody here from Epic. Today's song we're going to be learning is Zombie by the Cranberries. So for this whole song, all we're going to be playing is four chords, okay? So these four chords are all from book one, and they are E minor, C, G, and lastly, D, played in that order, okay? So let's just go through them one by one. So for E minor, remember we've got, uh, we've got our second finger on the second fret of the A string. And then our third finger on the second fret of the D string. And then we're strumming all six strings, okay? Cool. All right, and next up we've got C. So for C, we've got our third finger on the third fret of A. And then we've got our second finger on the second fret of D string. And then lastly, our first finger on the first fret of B. And then for C, we're just going to want to be strumming from the A string down, okay? So we're not going to want to hit the top string. Cool, guys. And um, so then we've got G. So G, we're going to take our second finger and put it on the third fret of low E. Then we're going to take our second finger, uh, sorry, our first finger, and put it on the second fret of A. And then take our third third finger and put it on the third fret of high E. Okay, um, you notice on the chord chart it's also got the third fret of B. Um, some of you guys play it like that. Um, that's just an optional way of playing G. Um, just using the three fingers is fine. And our last chord is going to be D, okay? So D, we're going to start off by taking our second finger and putting it on the second fret of high E. And we're going to take our third finger and put it on the third fret of B. And then take our first finger and put it on the second fret of G. Cool. And for this um, chord, we're only going to want to strum from the D string down, okay? Cool. So we don't want to be strumming the, um, the low E or the A um a string either now this can take a bit of getting used to so don't worry too much if you're accidentally hitting those chords um the top sorry the top strings on accident but yeah um have a go of all these chords and make sure you've got them all down and then we can move on to the next part cool guys so the strumming pattern that we're going to be using for this one goes like this it's going to be down down up 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 down 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 up 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 down for those of you who are towards the end of book one um, it's the strumming pattern that we use in Royals and Steal My Kisses, okay? So let's try it together. So it's going to go like this. Down, down, up, 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 down. Down, down, up, 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 down. Down, down, up, 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 down. Cool, a little bit faster now. Down. Down, down. Cool. Now let's try it with uh, let's just try it with our E minor chord, okay? So nice and slow. Down, down, up, 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 down. So the order of the chords in the song is going to go like E, C, G, and D, okay? We're going to go through the strumming pattern once on each chord, okay? So it's going to look like this. Then to C. To G. To D. One more time. So it's going to go E. Down, down, up, 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 down. To C. Down, down, up, 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 down. G, down, up, 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 down. D, down, up, 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 down. Cool. So to the tempo of the song, it's going to sound like this.
cool so that chord progression goes throughout the whole song so the the intro the chorus and the verses okay they're all going to be using that pattern so you can experiment in by playing the chorus maybe a little bit louder uh, the verse a little bit quieter um, have a play around with those chords and you should be able to play through the whole song using those three cool guys so thanks so much for watching um, make sure that we, that we start things off slowly um, if you're having trouble changing through the chords really really go back and make sure that you can uh, go from each chord to another one before you start to speed it up um, it's more important that you're playing the chords properly and changing between them properly than it is to play it fast make sure to go check out the other uh, guitar videos that i've put up on epic and yeah i'll see you guys next week